So as investors, we know that you, know, you need to ride the bubble. Well, until you know, the longer is better, but obviously not until the end because then you get hurt. So investors, they want to ride this very important theme because that's the theme of 2023 for the time being, but there are not that many plays. So they are all going into a few stocks which are indeed sensitive to the theme. And you know, you mentioned it, you know, the, the whole business of NVIDIA gaming, if you look at gaming revenues, they were down 34% year on year. That was you know, the, the result of yesterday. So the whole business is struggling. By the way, earnings were down you know, year on year yesterday, but the stock is up 26% because the new business, which is AI, is the focus of the market for the time being. And again, if I want to expose my clients to the AI theme, I just got, let's say, six, seven, you know, mega cap tech stocks, which maybe, you know, and you were, t you were talking about price to sales. The price to sales usually for a tech stock is five or six times, not 26 times. That, that, that is exactly my point. There are other avenues which are cheaper. You, you see it, right, this is a company, they're doing really well because they have adopted uh, AI early on, just like they adopted .com earlier on, and they do adopted cloud earlier on. Isn't that a more sensible way to play it than, than paying up for these kind of well, premiums. there are two other stocks in mind. That's Google, Microsoft. Yeah. Do you play it through those stocks if you don't like NVIDIA? That's the one we, we uh, indeed uh, hold for clients because they are, let's say, less expensive. But, you know, I think uh, also the dangerous part is that CEOs and CFOs, they are playing with the theme. If you look at the number of times AI have been mentioned during the Q1 earnings season, it's skyrocketing. And by the way, the CEO of uh, uh, NVIDIA yesterday was very, let's say, talked a lot about AI. He was very focused in the conference call about AI. He mentioned that's the start of, let's say, 10 years moves. So obviously, you got all of the excitement from the market, you know, after, after hours. Um, based in Switzerland, you should normally be talking about Muesli, but you're talking about Granola today instead. Um, excuse the pun. Uh, I didn't even know this acronym. Did you know this Granola acronym? I've never heard of it before. So according to you, we're three years behind the curve, Karen, because in 2020, Goldman Sachs coined yep. the acronym Granola. I love it. It's Goldman's, Roche, ASML, Nestle Novartis, Novo, uh, Nova Nordis, so it should be Granola, L'Oreal, LVMH, AstraZeneca, Sanofi, and SAP. What's the point of this acronym? Well, the point, I hope you had your granolas this morning, but the, <laughs> the, po yet. the point, Steve, is that, you know, as is the case in the US, in Europe, we are facing, let's say, high inflation. Mm. So as investors, you need to invest when there's high inflation, but we're also facing high macro uncertainty. So what do you want to do? You want to go with high quality stocks, strong balance sheets, higher than expected revenue growth compared to the market, and also pricing power, which is a key theme. Yeah. But in Europe, we don't have that many tech stocks. Okay, we have ASML, but we are probably stronger in healthcare, mm -hmm. or in luxury stocks, or in consumer discretionary stocks. And this is what this acronym is you know, about. But the same issue in the US is that these stocks, because everyone is playing the same ideas, are getting very pricey. I think the market action this week was very interesting. You know, you look at AVMH, it's done 12%, you know, since the peak. Because as everyone is, you know, invested into the same stock, when you start to get some troubles in terms of macro look at the IFO expectations, you know, in Germany, starting to head south, then you sell. And what do you sell? You sell what you own and everyone owns the same stock with, again, a high valuation. So that could be a warning sign also for the fangs in the US, because that could be, let's say, the part of the market which could get hit you know, if we do get more troubles yeah. on the macro side. So I don't know about uh, both of you, but I actually pick out the raisins in the granola. Is what? that what's happening what, here? When we them as extra or you <laughs> No, I, I actually don't like them, but this is what we're talking about here. You've got an acronym, you've got a whole bunch of stocks in there. Are we now seeing some of them just picked out of the breakfast bowl effectively because people don't like them at this price. Yeah, that, that could be, but no, like, uh, like in any, uh, let's say, food, you know, you don't need to abuse. You cannot have your three times or four times granola every day. So I think that's why, you know, we, we need to be, they, they are good companies. I think they, they will stay strong companies. And, you know, in a very Darwinism type of, let's say, move, you know, they, they will get the, the survival of the fittest. So they will get stronger and stronger. And this is what exactly is happening in the luxury sector or in the healthcare sector. But we're not getting to a point where a strong company might not be always a strong stock because of valuation. And again, that's the point, is that we'll be in Europe or in the US, these, let's say, very narrow part of the market is getting very pricey. And this is where you know, we need to be careful. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersacci, and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.